morning, Control. <laughs> Hello, Tony. Come on in. Thank you. I will come in, just for the now. Hmm. I expect you will have heard the news, then. Well, the place is in a bit of an uproar, but you know what rumours are. Oh, yes, I don't know. I sometimes think <laughs> that if I believed everything I heard in rumours, I'd be believing some things that aren't true at all. <laughs> anyway, you'll forgive me if I yawn a bit during today, but what with one thing and another, I didn't get too much sleep last night. Oh, poor you. You must be exhausted, or very tired at least, or is that wrong? No, that's quite right. I am tired, Tony. Well, perhaps you'd like to tell me what happened, Control. Unless you're too tired. <laughs> I think it would be best if I filled you in. That way you won't have to rely on departmental rumours, will you? Yes, and that would be a great convenience. Hmm, I expect it would. <laughs> well, we picked up Costain last night. Yes, I gathered as much from the rumours, but I wasn't sure whether it was absolutely true, so it's good to have it confirmed by you. I can imagine. Costain came quite quietly. I think he'd guessed that we'd suspected him of being a traitor for some time now. Which we had, hadn't we? Yes, that's quite true, we had. <laughs> when was it we first came to suspect him, do you think? <sighs> well, I can't remember exactly, but it was certainly some time ago. Before last spring, would you say? Well, around there, definitely, yes. Yeah, certainly no later than the 14th of May. <laughs> because that was my birthday. And I remember thinking at the time that having Costain arrested and put behind bars would be the best birthday present anyone could <laughs> ever hope for. I remember you saying those exact words, Tony. Hmm. So, any old way, you managed to arrest him then? Yes. He was taken to the ninth floor and I had the job of interrogating him. <sighs> That's never a very pleasant task, is it, Control? No, it's one of the things I least enjoy having to do, as a matter of fact, Tony. Mm. It's very difficult when someone doesn't want to tell you anything and you have to think up ways of making them tell you. <laughs> yes, that can call on all your know-how, can't it? That's right, yes. Costain, I'm afraid, didn't want to tell us anything. But I thought it would be much better if he did, because if he's been working for the Russians all this time, then we ought to know what he's been up to, oughtn't we? Yes. <laughs> That way, we know which of our secrets have been given away and which are safe. That's exactly right. Hmm. So, was the minister pleased that we caught him at last? Well, on the one hand, Tony, he's delighted that Costain has been put behind bars at last. On the other hand, he's very anxious to uh, minimise publicity. And, of course, on the other hand, he oh, has... hold on. <laughs> You've got three hands there, Control. Oh, yes, I wasn't hunting very carefully, was I? Well, let's just say he's also rather cross that we allowed a Soviet agent to go undetected amongst our rank for so long. So, a mixed reception, then. <laughs> I think that's a very fair way of putting it, actually, Tony, yes. So, all in all, and what with one thing and another, it's been a pretty tiring 48 hours. Well, 44 hours, to be exact. But it feels like 48, I can tell you. <laughs> 46 or 47 at least. <laughs> so being as how you're so tired, Control, perhaps a cup of coffee might perk you up. Oh, I say, that's ever such a super thought, Tony. I'd just love one. Coming right up. You're a lifesaver, Tony, and that's a fact. Oh, and Control, mm -hmm. under the circumstances, I'm going to make sure it's a good and strong one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>